Hi everyone, my name is Lucas Jennings and I'm from the Data School's 21st cohort as part of the Information Lab. Today I'm going to show you how to build a Pareto chart in Tableau. Now this is a really useful chart for a business to see how diversified its income stream is or if they are perhaps too dependent on a select few sources of revenue. Essentially, this chart will demonstrate the 80-20 Pareto principle, which states that 80% of the outcomes are derived from 20% of the sources. If 80% of a company's income is derived from more than 20% of its goods or services, this is usually a good indicator that they have a diversified portfolio of income streams, which will therefore leave them far less exposed to potential economic shocks. So let's jump into Tableau and start building a Pareto chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag product name into columns. Now we want to make this account distinct, so we're going to convert it to a measure and select count distinct. I'm then going to add sum of sales into rows. I'll add product name onto detail and change the mark type to area. Essentially for this chart, what I want to show is whether 80% of my sales are deriving from just 20% of my products. Now to do this, we need to use table calcs. So I'm going to click on the count distinct of product name in the column shelf. And I'm going to select add table calculation. So the first table calculation we want to use is a running total. And I want to compute this using the specific dimension of product name. Now the next step is to add a secondary calculation. Now this secondary calculation is going to be the percent of total. I will again click to specific dimensions and make sure the product name has been ticked. Now I will repeat the exact same steps for sum of sales. So add table calculation, select running total, and we'll compute using product name. Add a secondary calculation, which is the percent of total. Again, computing along, uh, sorry, computing using product name. And I'll just switch that to entire view. So at the moment, we have the percentage of the running total for both the product name and the sum of sales. Now, it's important that it's a percentage of total as well, because this will allow us to see whether we are above or below our 80, 20% Pareto principle. Now, this doesn't quite look like the previous example. So in order to get it to look like that sort of smooth shape, what we want to do is we want to change the way the data is sorted in the view. So I'm going to select product name on the detail shelf. I'm going to select sort. I want to sort this by a field, specifically the sum of sales. And we want this to be in descending order. So essentially what this will do is this will um, plot each product along the top of the area chart. And the products closest to the bottom represent the highest total of the sum of sales. And then gradually as the, um, as the area straightens out towards the top, these products account for less and less of the total sum of sales. Now we have our shape, but how do we know if it's above or below the 80-20 Pareto principle? Well, to do that, we need to add two reference lines. So I'm going to go to the analytics pane and I'm going to double click reference line. So we want to add our own 
custom value. So where it says average, I'm going to select constant and I'm going to change that value to be 0 0.2 or 20%. So this is the line for 20% of my products. I'm then going to do the same thing for the sum of sales. I'm going to edit that reference line. I'm going to change the value to a constant, specifically 0 0.8 or 80%. So now we have the point where 20% of the products are meeting 80% of the sum of sales. Now, what this chart is showing is that the area is below the point in which these two reference lines meet. This means that for the superstore, it is not reliant on 80% of its income deriving from 20% of its products. It's actually more like 22.71%. So there you have the Pareto chart. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I do hope you now feel a bit more confident in building a Pareto chart yourself. Please check the description of this video for links to additional material that you might find useful. If you did enjoy this video, I think you would love this next video on how to build a violin plot by a colleague of mine, Liam Holland. So click the link on the screen to watch it next. Thank you.